This is lesson two of Google Maps Engine Lite. In this lesson, you will learn how to create your first map and plot some points on the map. We will also look at how you can share the map. The first thing you need to do is open up Google Maps Engine Lite. The easiest way to do that is in the Omni bar in Google, is type in Maps Engine Lite. And from your search results, choose the top one. At this point, if you're not logged into your Google account, you'll be asked to log in. As you can see, I'm already logged into my Google account. So what I'm going to do now is click Create New Map. This will take you straight into Google Maps Engine Lights. And as you can see, it's taken the location from where you are at that time. I'm in Singapore, so it's shown me the map of Singapore. So the first thing we need to do is give the map a name. So up in the corner here, it says Untitled Map. So click on Untitled Map and give your map a name. You also have the option of giving it a description and then you can save. We're now going to look at layers. We can add several layers to a map. We're going to look at our first layer. So the first thing that we need to do is change the name of the layer. So we can click on the three little dots here and then we can rename this layer. Also at this point you can delete the layer and open up a data table which is something we will look at in lesson 7. So let's rename the layer. Let's give this a name of 2007. The map that we're going to create today is just a map of some of the locations that I may have visited in 2007 and subsequent years. Okay, the first thing we need to do now is start plotting our points on the map. So we're going to start with Munich. So I'm going to search for Munich using the search bar. Click on Munich, Germany, and then it will take me to Munich. Obviously you can be much more specific than just using a city name, but for the purpose of this course we're just going to use cities. So you can see here that Munich has been plotted with a green marker point. What we want to do is add this green marker point to our map. So we double click and then we can add to the map. And there you see it will change to red. But what we can do now is format this marker point to something that's more specific to what we want. So we click on the little bucket next to Munich over here and then we can change this. So I'm going to change it to squares and we're going to make it green. So all my destinations for 2007 will be a green square. Now we're going to add two other points to our map, two other cities. So I'm going to do that now. OK, so I've added three points to our map. Munich, Rome and Paris. What I want to do now is add a new layer to this map. Now this layer will show my trip in 2009. So I'm going to add a new layer by clicking on Add Layer. I'm going to go down to the layer and my three dots I'm going to click on rename this layer and I'm going to call this 2009 and then press save. So what I'm going to do now is plot three points on my map for my 2009 trip. So let's try London. That will take us straight to London. I double click and I add to the map and I'm going to change this one to a star and let's have an orange an orange star here. So you can see now London is an orange star. I'm going to add two other points to my map. OK, so now I've added three points to my 2009 layer and I've added three points to my 2007 layer. So let's zoom out and see what this looks like. So you can see here for the United Kingdom, and as I zoom out further, we can see the three points for 2007. Finally, what I'd like to do in this lesson is show you how to share one of your maps. So in order to share this map, we click on the share button in the corner here. This will bring up the name and description of your map. So at this point, you could add a description if you want to, or we could just save that or skip it. And then it's going to bring up the Google sharing options that may be quite familiar to you at this point. 
So, invite the people that you want to share this with. And then you can give them edit or view access. I'm going to give them view access. You can add a message and then send. This concludes lesson two. In lesson three, we're going to look at how we can add some more details to your map by adding photographs and videos.